what is the heart of our work? What's at the core of the work? The arts. And how come the arts? And in what way the arts? And what can the arts <coughs> do within a healing process? As the arts are somehow, yeah, like weeds, useless and indispensable. That's a, we cannot reduce them to a function like a piece of bread. Oh, we, we, we eat it to, to be nourished. Or um, the arts, um, yeah, they are for themselves, and yet they belong to humankind. And I think what expressive arts has to offer is that we can really start to listen in a reciprocal manner and be in a mutual relationship with people, with possibilities, with patterns, and the nuances of place to really conceive of a project that is embedded within the currencies of that place. The principles of the expressive arts are coming alive in the classroom. And the, the mix and the particular shape it takes each time is really dependent on who is in the room, what instructor, what professor, what students, from what cultural backgrounds or experience. And it's a very um, potent mix here in the mountains. It is really a, a way of manifesting a particular practice of listening to what the students bring, the questions they may have, the um, loves and experiences of the particular professors, and, you know, and of course, the, um, the theme of the course. We have a, a multiplicity and diversity of learners in our, in our classrooms. And they're at all different levels of experience and background and work. Uh, but they're all interested in uh, using the arts in their work. And to use the arts, you need to have a high degree of sensitivity. And so we build, we try to build sensitivity actually between the students as a learning platform for any content or didactics that we're introducing. So I think um, high sensitivity in the classroom to each other, listening to each other, learning to step up or step back and keep the group moving. I think what makes the classes unique is that they're not only about being sensitive to each other, which I think is really foundational, as you were saying. But I think also it's that we don't stop with interpersonal relationships. We use these interpersonal relationships as a foundation uh, for art making. And the art making takes it beyond the interrelationship of individuals into a collective creation. Um, and this is different from art as self-expression. We're not interested in art as self-expression, that's a psychological perspective. We're interested in the expressive qualities of the art, how we can build things that have an, imp an impact, what we call uh, an aesthetic response on the part of those who make it and those who see it or hear it. So it's very much a question of basing our work on the arts as a means of transcending or going beyond what is in the here and now into the world of the imagination that can give us new possibilities for transformation of both the individual self uh, and the societies in which we live.